electric vehicles are creating a lot of buzz in the automotive industry. By 2025, this low noise, low pollution, high performance automobiles will have rendered their IC engine rivals obsolete. Welcome to our channel, and in today's video, we'll reveal the hidden technology underlying the Tesla Model S, which recently surpassed the Porsche 911 as the world's fastest accelerating car. By examining the technology underlying the induction motor, inverter lithium-ion battery power source, and, most importantly, the synchronized vehicle mechanism, we will understand how electric cars have attained higher performance in a logical step-by-step -step manner. Please remember to like, subscribe, and switch on notifications for more videos like this before we begin. Also, please let us know what other videos you'd want to see from us in the comments section below, we'd appreciate it. The induction motor, which was invented by the famous scientist Nikola Tesla roughly 100 years ago, is the heart of the Tesla car. The stator and the rotor are the two major components of an induction motor. The rotor is nothing more than a cluster of short-circuited conducting bars connected by end rings. The stator receives a three-phase AC power supply. A rotating magnetic field is created by the three-phase alternating current in the coils. A four-pole magnetic field is produced by the Tesla motor. The rotor bars are turned by a current induced by the spinning magnetic field. The rotor in an induction motor is always behind the RMF. Brushes in a permanent magnet are not present in an induction motor. It is both robust and powerful at the same time. An induction motor's beauty is that its speed is determined by the frequency of the AC power source. We can change the drive wheel speed simply by changing the frequency of the power source. Because of this simple fact, electric car speed control is simple and reliable. The motor is powered by a variable frequency drive, which adjusts the speed of the motor. The motor speed can be set anywhere between 0 and 18,000 revolutions per minute. This is the most significant benefit electric cars have over internal combustion vehicles. Only a small range of speeds allows an internal combustion engine to create usable torque and power. As a result, directly linking the rotation of the engine to the rotation of the drive wheel is not a good idea. To adjust the drive wheel speed, a transmission must be introduced. An induction motor, on the other hand, will operate efficiently at any speed. An electric car does not require a speed-varying transmission, and an IC engine does not create direct rotational motion. The piston's linear motion must be transformed to rotating motion, which poses serious mechanical balancing issues. The internal combustion engine is not only not self-starting like an induction motor, but its power output is always inconsistent. To tackle these problems, a variety of devices are required. With an induction motor, on the other hand, you would have direct rotational motion and uniform power output, and many components in the IC engine can be omitted. As a result of these factors, an induction motor has a high response rate and a higher power to weight ratio, resulting in superior vehicle performance. But where does the motor get its energy? Because a battery pack produces DC power, the supply must be converted to AC before reaching a motor. This is accomplished by the use of an inverter. The AC power frequency is likewise controlled by this power electronic equipment, which controls the motor speed. Furthermore, the inverter may adjust the motor power output by varying the amplitude of the AC power. As a result, the inverter serves as the brain of the electric vehicle. Let us now shift our attention to the battery pack. You'll be surprised to learn that they're simply a group of regular lithium-ion cells similar to ones you use every day. To generate the power required to run your electric automobile, the cells are connected in a series and parallel configuration. Through the gap between the cells, a glycol coolant is supplied through metallic inner tubes. Tesla's use of numerous small cells rather than a few large cells is one of his most notable innovations. There is a guarantee of effective cooling. This reduces thermal hot spots and ensures an equal temperature distribution, resulting in longer battery pack life. Detachable modules are used to organize the cells. The battery pack contains 16 of these modules, totaling roughly 7,000 cells. The heated glycol is cooled by going through a radiator located in the vehicle's front end. You can also observe how low-height battery pack, when installed near to the ground, lowers the vehicle's center of gravity. 
the car's stability is greatly improved by the reduced center of gravity. The big battery pack is also distributed across the floor, providing structural stability in the event of a side crash. Let's return to Tesla's drivetrain now. The motor's output power is routed through a gearbox to the driving wheels. Because the motor is efficient in a wide variety of operating conditions, the Tesla Model S uses a simple single-speed transmission, as previously mentioned. The motor's output speed is reduced in two phases, as you can see. In an electric car, even reverse gear is simple to do. For this, simply reverse the power phase order. The sole objective of an electric automobile transmission is to reduce speed and multiply torque. A differential is the gearbox's second component. It receives a reduced speed drive. This is a simple open differential, as you can see. Open differentials, on the other hand, have a traction control issue. But, rather than a limited slip differential, why does such a sophisticated vehicle employ an open differential? The open differential is more durable and capable of carrying more torque. Two strategies can be used to efficiently solve a problem that arises in an open differential, selective braking and power supply interruption. This power supply is cut in an internal combustion engine by cutting the fuel supply as not as sensitive. The power supply cut in an induction motor, on the other hand, is very responsive and a good way to get traction control. All of this is possible in Tesla thanks to a cutting-edge algorithm and the assistance of sensors and controls. Tesla Motors has, in a nutshell, replaced a sophisticated mechanical hardware system with smart, responsive software. Did you know that an electric automobile can be driven effectively with only one pedal? This is owing to its powerful regenerative braking system, which saves the car's enormous kinetic energy as electricity rather of losing it as heat. Regenerative braking kicks in as soon as you let go of the accelerator pedal in an electric automobile. What's more, the same induction motor functions as a generator during regenerative braking. The induction motor's rotor is driven by the wheels here. We know that the rotor speed in an induction motor is lower than the RMF speed. The motor will be converted into a generator. All you have to do is make sure the rotor speed is higher than the RMF speed. In this case, the inverter is critical in regulating the input power frequency and keeping the RMF speed below that of the rotor. This will generate far more electricity in the stator coils than the provided electricity. After the conversion, the generated electricity can be stored in the battery pack. During this operation, an opposing electromagnetic force occurs on the rotor, slowing the driving wheels and the automobile. Using a single pedal, the vehicle speed can be precisely adjusted during the journey. The brake pedal can be used to bring the vehicle to a complete halt. Electric cars, as you may already know, are far safer than internal combustion engines. The cost of maintaining and driving an electric car is significantly lower than that of a car with an internal combustion engine. Electric cars promise to be the cars of the future, with the shortcomings of the electric car being overcome by greater technology. This wraps up the video, we hope you enjoyed it, and please let us know if you learned anything new in the comments section below, we'd love to know. Please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you want to see more videos like this. Take care, and we'll see you next time.